right here, right now. And do you heal? Yes, I heal. Do you heal? Yes, I heal. God, all of our medicine, right here, right now. As we look at people that are working around climate disaster and environmental issues and food sovereignty and everything in between that women do, that it's important for us to realize that we are not the same as what our men predecessors have done, that we have this different way of being, and that is relationships and relationship building. And when we come to beautiful places like this, it's important for us to understand that we can make a change. We do have a childhood hunger issue within Brevard County. Um, it's, it's quite devastating. There's also a large child homeless population there as well. Um, and, and specifically in my community, it is a food desert. So I want to teach them skills that can sustain them as individuals on how to grow food that can feed themselves and their family, but also how to be healthy in doing so and how to be kind to the environment as well. So some of our main project work is focused on protecting and restoring wetlands. So we do a lot of advocacy work to ensure that our wetlands are protected, that um, wind development is occurring. Currently we have um, a little over 120,000 acres of pristine wetlands, but we have lost countless wetlands, hundreds of thousands of acres of wetlands over the last 20, 30, 40 years. We've had four major flood events over the last four years. Um, has renewed a sense of commitment to the environment and thinking on ways that how we can work with nature rather than against it. Yeah, being the uh, holders of culture and being at the precipice of uh, the climate crisis that's happening towards us and also being uh, responsible to our ancestors, we believe that in order for us to stay who we are as a people, to remain indigenous, that we have to implement these cultural practices in every facet of our lives and seed saving and seed preservation is our way of doing that. Well as a Latina who grew up in a frontline community uh, south side of San Antonio where uh, there are uh, slaughterhouses, coal plants, a military base that uh, left a lot of toxic pollution once it was uh, closed. I also grew up about two miles from a refinery um, that is still uh, polluting the neighborhood. It's right next to the cemetery in which my father is buried. Uh, so uh, I know firsthand what it's like to live um, in communities where uh, we have poor air quality or the water is polluted and their lands are getting extracted because of the fossil fuel industry. I, along with my community, have been working on a climate action and adap adaptation plan uh, for San Antonio to make it uh, carbon free by 2050 and uh, the San Antonio City Council voted on it voted on it this morning and it passed 9 to 1 this Women Grassroots Accelerator is so important because we're bringing together experts on environmental justice, people on the front lines who have the solutions. We're bringing them all together. Everybody was just here to learn, to teach, to grow. I, I've never been a part of nothing like that. You know, nobody is really investing in grassroots who really help the community um, because leadership doesn't believe that the community has the answers, but they do. When I think about how community building has happened in my region, a lot of it was spearheaded by women who understood the, the need to get together, to come together, and what happens when you do. Our promise to the women leaders who are coming is that by the end of their time in the Accelerator in general, the four-month program, they will have gained the skills, the tools, and the allies that they need to really uh, deepen the impact of their work, grow the scale of their work, and build more alliances. It's important to know where we're coming from. We are living in a world that is designed for and by men. And if we want to call out who we are, it's important for us to come together, especially with people who's been rooted with the land for a really long time. And this is our critical opportunity to do something about 
redesigning our society into centering around justice. It's gonna take all of us, and it's beautiful to be meeting all the women who also recognize that and who are ready to just like link arms and do this work together. I wish other women could experience what I just experienced. Right? I wish some of my friends could really experience this. I think like they'll walk away like rejuvenated, refreshed, um, come back to fight harder.